Here's Jason Randall for three. He's got it. He was lights out. That's a tough shot there. Randall banked it in. The all-time leader at Stanford in May threes. We're here with Jason Randall, Stanford grad, two-time Pac-12 first-team honoree, 2015 honorable mention All-American, and the all-time leading scorer in Stanford history and current guard for the Orlando Magic. Jason, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, excited to be talking to you guys and um, alive and well and safe and healthy, and I hope you guys are too. So you commit to Stanford. You're the only player in your class. They had a one-person recruiting class, <laughs> which is which is totally rare, unheard of. Right. Um, so what upperclassmen took you under their wing when you got here? Anthony Goods was like the guy that I met, you know, my first day on campus in the summertime. And he was in the gym and he's like, hey, you want to work out with me? I'm like, sure. You know, like, <laughs> I'm a I'm an incoming freshman, not knowing anything. And he let me work out with him and kind of show me his work ethic. And he was beating up on me and everything. He didn't take it lightly. And it was like, OK, this is this is what I have to go up against, you know, and it kind of introduced me to, to the collegiate game. And so he was he was great. And then I would probably say uh, Gabe Harris. He took me under his wing. Um, we were kind of like similar positions. Um, he's two years older, but you know I looked at him like a big brother as well as Jared Mann. And and I can't forget about Andrew Zimmerman, man. Big <laughs> lead, man. He he was great. He kind of um, you know was the motivator and, and and energy every day in practice. If he seen that the team was down, he wouldn't he wouldn't let us. Um, let a practice continue, you know, going going that way. So he was great. Do we have a fourth OT? Starts. Tip by Burton. And the spread for the win. We are going to a fourth overtime in Corvallis. What can you possibly imagine? Your freshman year, you played in a four overtime game against Oregon State. It was four. Scoring, <laughs> and you guys came away with the win, man. What do you remember from a four overtime game? Man, I just remember like it was intense. You know, like every possession mattered, especially when we got into those overtimes. Um, and neither team wanted to lose. Stanford, they played ten or twelve guys, and so they're used to seeing other guys get minutes. Jason Randall drains a three. He got a hand for the freshman. Yeah. Nelson, he has the pressure legs. He's able to get out there on that closeout. Jason Randall rattles it home. I remember by the end, like we were so exhausted, but that adrenaline was still going. So we were excited that that, that we came out with the win. Here's Roberto Nelson for the win. No, and in quadruple overtime, Stanford beats Oregon State 103-101. So you have an unbelievable career. Um, you finish that season, uh, sorry, your senior season. You go undrafted. Did you think that you were gonna get drafted or you, did you kind of know that that was gonna happen? To me, like I didn't know, you know, whether I get drafted or not. Um, I was just grateful to be put in the position um, to even have my name considered, to be honest. You know, coming from Rock Island, we didn't hear too many guys let alone playing collegiate basketball, division one basketball, and it is what it is. And I've been able to carve out, you know, a career. Um, I'm in my sixth season as a pro and um, I'm grateful, you know, uh, grateful for, for every single opportunity that I've had and the teams I've been on, the experiences I've had um, from playing in the Czech Republic to, you know, playing in, in Madrid and, Playing, even playing in China, um, you know, I've been all over um, as well as playing for the NBA team. So um, it kind of just opened my eyes to, you know, a whole new world of basketball, you know, that I didn't even realize was there. You, you go to Europe, you, you dabble in the G League. After two years of being a professional, uh, 2017 hits and you get your shot for the 76ers. Yeah. You're with them for about for about 20 days. What's that aha moment when you realize, man, I, I'm in the NBA? It hit me like probably like the first the first game. Like we were in Milwaukee, 
Um, and I, I got, they let me know that I was going to get a chance to play. Um, I think it was TJ McConnell that went down. They, they needed a guard to step in. And it was like, this is, this is, this is it. You know, like Brett Brown, we're walking through the, the African American History Museum and he's like, you know, there comes a time, you know, in a season where <laughs> things like this happen and you got to be ready. Um, so your time has, has come and um, I hope you make the best of it. And we ended up winning that game. I think I scored like 10 points, a couple assists. And, um, you know, from there on, I knew that, um, you know, I had belonged and, and um, you know, I was an NBA player. So it was pretty cool. Now we're going to play a speed round. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. Favorite class while you're at Stanford? I'd probably say I took a hip hop class. The hip hop class was pretty fun. <laughs> Favorite restaurant in Palo Alto? Mm, Jimmy V's, of course. <laughs> First thing that comes to your mind when you hear the number 2,375? I think that's the points I scored at Stanford. Is that right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's it. Stanford's all-time leading score. Now, my last question is a bit controversial. Okay. I got to ask it. You played with three other NBA players. Mm -hmm. Anthony Brown, Dwight Powell, Josh Eustace. If the four of you are on the floor together tomorrow night, who gets the last shot? That's tough. Um, but I got to go with myself. Like, <laughs> I have to. <laughs> It, it, I think it kind of depends on who's rolling too, um, but you know I, I have the confidence in myself. Not to say I don't have the confidence in them, um, you know, but I will want it. Let's just say that. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, this is Stanford's all-time leading scorer, Chasen Randall, current member of the Orlando Magic. We appreciate your time. Best of luck to you and stay healthy, man. All right, thank you.